Hello guys, I continue my experiments with AI and cursor with Laravel and today I want to show you something dangerous. I've tried so-called YOLO mode in cursor which allows to automatically run commands for you. So if you don't enable that YOLO mode or auto running mode, then whenever you ask for something like create model and migration, it will try to create it and ask for your permission. So you need to manually click run command and then you may choose ask every time or auto run and you can enable it right here but I don't advise it it's pretty dangerous and I'll show you the right way to do that and run command then it's executed and then it generates whatever is needed and then you get to result something like this but imagine you're working on a bigger feature and your prompt is about generating multiple files and doing many terminal operations potentially then you need to supervise and run commands manually although some of those commands are trivial like make model or make migration or something like that wouldn't it be better to run some specific commands automatically without your confirmation and restrict other potentially dangerous commands and I've tried that YOLO mode on a bigger prompt from trying to vibe code this Upwork task which is $20 and it feels like a small project for some student or something so create Laravel application bootstrap front-end framework and five pages so pretty small one and I will show the result to you did cursor manage to vibe code it in one shot but first I will show you that YOLO mode settings on a smaller project if you go to settings and features among all the checkboxes, there's enable auto run mode. They call it YOLO mode in the documentation, but this is kind of the official name auto run mode. And if you enable that, there's a disclaimer kind of a warning because if you allow agent to run something for you, that command may be unpredictable. Someone may hijack the prompt and execute dangerous commands like RM, like delete something and stuff like that. And I will show you potentially dangerous commands in a minute. But we continue and here you can allow or deny certain commands. Like for example, I allowed making directors and PHP artisan make something. And this is important, not just artisan, but make something. And then I deny for now RM, just in case RM RF, move something and delete. And now if we try to run another similar command, we send and let's see if it would ask for make model or make something. No, it actually has executed it itself successfully. So I didn't need to approve it, confirm it. And basically I just need to wait for it to finish working. So yeah, it successfully has finished without me touching anything except for hitting send in the beginning. For longer operations, and I will show you example of that in a minute, they even have a feature, play sound on finish. So it's kind of like microwave sound, like it's cooked, which is ironically, but so accurately describes the process. So you get your prompt in kind of in microwave and then you get back only when it's cooked. Meanwhile, you can drink coffee or take a walk or whatever. In theory, that is if you allow full YOLO mode. But of course, not all commands are as trivial as make model. And of course, agents work is unpredictable what it would think to execute. And here's a tweet I found online by Elam here, list of commands to deny. So this is a very big list and probably it doesn't matter that much if you work only with Laravel, but if you work with other frameworks or languages which may execute some of those commands, then yeah, look for this list. It's on Twitter and I will link that in the description below. And you may find other deny lists online as well. Also, in case of some commands, you may instruct cursor in rules. So here I am in my Laravel MDC and we talked about cursor rule in yesterday's video. So I'll link that in the description below if you haven't seen that. But basically, for example, this instruction, don't use terminal command mkdir, which it tends to do. Instead, try to use PHP artisan make whenever possible. Or specifically down below, for example, for blade files, I instruct to use artisan command make view instead of creating folders or files with touch or mkdir. And now let's go to that bigger project and I will show you what cursor generated for me and what commands it tried to run on a bigger project. So I've taken this exact description of job and copy pasted it blindly into cursor, except for this part, create a Laravel application. I created Laravel application before with just Laravel new so that cursor would already have the reference of the structure of Laravel project for version 12. And then these were my additional instructions on top of job description. So Laravel 12 already installed and also I asked Laravel UI starter kit because the job description required bootstrap. And side note, Laravel UI still works in Laravel 12. 
I will show you. But let's see what it actually tried to do. So here's the long prompt. And first, it tried to compose a require, which I did have to confirm because it's not in my allow list. I'm thinking maybe to allow compose a require because it's not really harmful. Then another thing I needed to confirm PHP Artisan UI because it's not PHP Artisan make. Then after installation of Laravel UI, it requires to run npm install and npm run dev, which I did have to confirm. But then later it worked on creating migrations which it did automatically without me, then make another migration. Also, I didn't need to confirm make migration, then fill in the migrations with actual fields, then make seeder. I didn't need to confirm that either. Make another seeder. This was all in the YOLO mode. I was actually watching that, but I could have gone to drink coffee in theory. Make model was also automatically executed for the models. Then make controller also executed. So all the MVC structure was done without me. Make middleware also without me. Registering middleware in Bootstrap app, which is Laravel 11 syntax. And I do have that inside of my MDC instructions to use that structure. Then also mkdir and touch, which then forced me to add a rule afterwards to use PHP Artisan make view instead. Before that, it was using touch, as you can see, which also works, but I prefer the framework commands whenever possible. And now we get to this. This is important. So after it generated all the structure for models and migrations, it wanted to execute migrate fresh seed. And this is why I allow it to run PHP Artisan make, but nothing else. Because this is a potentially dangerous command. Migrate fresh would wipe your database. And that is not necessarily what you want to do. So for this command, I had to manually click run command. And this was the greatest proof for me that YOLO mode blindly is pretty dangerous. And at first that migration failed, then it fixed it by making another migration and reordering the migration. Then I needed to reconfirm again, and this time it succeeded. Also, interestingly, it asked for my confirmation to edit .env file, which is kind of outside of YOLO mode, but I guess it's some kind of internal rule that .env files are sensitive. And yeah, all complete. To start the application, it wanted to run PHP Artisan Serve, which I canceled because I have Laravel heard locally. And all of that process took roughly 10 minutes or so. And here's the visual result. Login form for Bootstrap, Laravel UI. Logo is missing, but that is easy to fix. Also, register button is not visible, so something is wrong with CSS. But if we try to log in with fake filler or register with fake filler, there will be another error which I didn't fix. The home page is missing, but if we go to default home page, it redirects to dashboard with functionality to add domain, plan, and for example, buy certain plan. So it's working. Kind of 95%, I would say there's something to fix, small details, but generally, this is probably a good example of Vibe coding and how you can generate at least the first version of a simple project for $20 on Upwork. But actually, how much did it cost? And this is interesting. At the end of this whole prompt, cursor showed that it took 40,000 tokens. And I talked about tokens in previous video last week, but roughly it transforms into $20 cents for Claude 3.7 Sonnet. But I'm using cursor so-called fast request on pro plan, which I have 68 used out of 500 for this month. And here you can see these events. So four events from 715 to 722, and each of them took two fast requests. So eight in total, except for the last one aired not charged, which may be a trick to save fast requests. If I understand that correctly, if I cancel the last operation, which was PHP Artisan Serve, maybe it doesn't count as successful result. I'm not sure, this is just a theory. Comment down below if you noticed the same thing. But yeah, the main goal of this video was to show you the YOLO mode on two project examples. And what do you think? Will you enable that automatic running of commands and which ones you would allow? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.